Welcome to iLecture Online. Now let's take a look at the isomers of heptane. Heptane means we now have seven carbons in the chain, so the linear form of heptane and heptane looks just like that using the simple representation or the simple format of displaying the various isomers. It now becomes a lot easier to do it like this. It would take a lot more time and a lot more space to do it the other way. So here you can see they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons. You may begin to notice that if the number of carbons is odd, you have these complete triangular structures. If the number of carbons in the chain are even, then you can see you don't complete the last of these triangular structures. That's how you know that you're dealing with an odd or an even number of carbons. So here's the linear form and heptane, and then we have two forms, two isomers, where we have a single metal group either connected to the second carbon or to the third carbon. If we connect it to the fourth carbon, that is the same as the third car carbon coming from the other direction, so would it look exactly the same if you then were to flip the isomer around? So we only have two of these. The two methyl hexane, two because it's connected to the second carbon, methyl because it's the methyl group. Here, three because it's connected to the third carbon, methyl because it's a methyl group, hexane because now you only have six carbons left in the chain. Next, we're going to take two carbons away from the chain, so we only end up with five. Again, five is an odd number, so we have these two complete triangular structures. We call it pentane because there's five carbons in the chain, but now there's two methyl groups, so we call it dimethyl. Dimethyl, dimethyl. Where we place them determines the numbers in the front. If both of them are connected to the second carbon, it's 2,2-dimethylpentane. If they're both connected to the third carbon, it's 3,3-dimethylpentane. Or if one is connected to the second and one is connected to the third, it's 2,3-dimethylpentane. If we connect one to the third and one to the fourth, that's exactly the same as one to the second and the third if we flip the molecule around. So therefore, it's exactly the same thing. Now we can also connect it to the second and the fourth. That's different, we don't have that yet here. So we have a 2,4-dimethyl pentane. Or we can have a different group. Instead of having a methyl group, we can have a ethyl group, which is a CH2-CH3 group, instead of the methyl group, which is simply a CH3 group. So we can actually have a combination like this connected to a pentane string, or a string of five carbons. We place it here, then we call the 3 ethyl pentane. Now, pentane, still because there's five carbons in the chain, ethyl because it's an ethyl group, 3 because it's connected to the third one, the third carbon. Now, what happens if we connect an ethyl group to the second carbon? Well, then we have, again, a chain of six carbons. We, again, have a hexane chain, and we'd have then one methyl group connected to the second carbon, so we'd end up with a 2-methyl hexane again. Or, if it's connected to the third carbon, we'd end up with a 3-methyl hexane again. So, again, it wouldn't give you any more isomers. One more possibility is to have three methyl groups, two connected to the second carbon, one connected to the third carbon. Now, you can say, well, what if I connect two here and one there? You flip it around, you have exactly the same isomer again, so there's only one of these. And we have 2-2-3, two, two, meaning two of them are connected to the second carbon, one is connected to the third carbon, trimethyl, because there's three methyl groups, butane, because now there's only one, two, three, four carbons left in the linear chain, and so that's why it's called three trimethyl butane. And those are the nine isomers of heptane. So we'll now go to the next. We'll go and look at octane and see how many isomers are there. So that's how we do that. And again, using the simple format, makes it quite easy to draw all of them on a single board. That's how it's done.